What are your top tips for GMAT data sufficiency questions? I love data sufficiency questions. The very unique question type, it's only found on the GMAT. And so just even getting your bearings with what the question is asking can be difficult. Data sufficiency questions are not just one big question. They're actually two little miniature questions. First is statement one by itself, enough information to answer the question or is it not? And then is statement two by itself, enough information to answer the question or is it not? The steps are gonna be the same. I know I'm gonna be rephrasing the question if I can. I know I'm gonna be thinking about whether it's a yes, no, or a value question. I know I'm gonna be starting with one of the statements first. All those things I do again and again for every single one of them. That's not true for problem solving. Problem solving problems, it's a hot mess, like from the start. You could be asked anything. We have a mantra here, prove insufficient, guess sufficient. Um, don't assume. Yeah, the GMAT really punishes you for making assumptions. Data sufficiency tends to be a trick question. The thing that looks like it's going to be the answer initially often ends up not being the answer, but rather a trap answer. And one of the best tools you have for avoiding those trap answers and really holding yourself to account and holding the statements to account will be testing cases. A lot of data sufficiency questions can be answered using either algebra or picking numbers. If you can learn to pick numbers to show why something is not sufficient, hey, what if this value was 10? What if it was 100? Would that affect the answer to the question? A drill that you can try with data sufficiency is just take a set of 10 data sufficiency questions from the official guide and just try to solve them without using pen or paper at all. And this is not what we necessarily recommend for all data sufficiency questions, but it will force you to consider, hmm, maybe there are actual conceptual ways I can think about this data sufficiency question rather than actually solving it out algebraically. Make sure that you're practicing questions and reviewing answers even when you get them right to make sure that the logic you've used to decide sufficient or not sufficient for a statement is actually solid. Do it this way and deviate at your own peril. Trust me, I know. If you liked this video, please subscribe. If you have a question, feel free to leave it in the comment. And uh, thanks for watching.